White flies, with the Latin name Bamesia tabaci, are the world's most devastating insect pests. They have a global distribution. They look alike. They transmit plant viruses and become insecticide resistant very quickly. The white flies use their stylets or modified mouth parts to feed on the leaves of over 600 plants. It's during this feeding that the white fly transmits the virus to the plant, much like a mosquito transmits a malarial parasite when it feeds on us. Arguably, the most important of these 600 plants is cassava, as seen here with my friend Dr. Donald Kachigamba. Cassava leaves and roots are eaten by millions of people in South America, Southeast Asia, and many countries in Africa. In fact, many of you have even seen or eaten cassava, as it makes up the small balls in bubble tea, and also is the main ingredient in tapioca pudding. But for many in Africa, it's a staple food. In fact, 700 million people rely on cassava for their daily calories. You see, cassava is a poverty fighter. If a small-scale family farmer has healthy cassava, they can feed their family and have enough to sell at market for important things like school fees, medical expenses, and savings. But cassava is under attack in East Africa by white flies. These white flies feeding on the cassava leaves transmit two deadly viruses, cassava mosaic disease and cassava brown streak virus. The sheer number of white flies on this plant, coupled with the viruses, kill the plant. In addition, the cassava roots of infected plants are inedible due to the brown, rotten tissue in the center that you see here. So I'm using genomics, supercomputing, and phylogenetics to study the speciation of white flies, with the end goal being to increase cassava production for small-scale farmers. So as I mentioned before, all the white flies look alike. So I take DNA from white flies, individual white flies, and I feed them into a gigantic supercomputer. This one is called Magnus and I generate a phylogenetic tree. Now, these phylogenetic trees can be interpreted much like family trees. Closer, um, lines that are connecting indicate that individuals are mo cl most closely related. So I've spent the last eight years using these phylogenetic trees to prove that there are 34 species of Bamesia tabassi whiteflies and not just one, as previously thought. So identifying more whiteflies means that we need to protect cassava from more than one enemy. And I also use these phylogenetic trees and whitefly fossil information to study the evolution of whiteflies. Now, this is really complicated. I just wanted to point out that there's time across the bottom from past to present, and the Blocks in color indicate major historical events. Take-home message is that white flies have been around for a really long time, millions of years, so our solution must take this into account. This speciation information will be critical when we genetically modify cassava to be both virus-resistant, as you see here, and white fly-resistant. Our team at the University of Western Australia is really committed to making all of our DNA data open access in whitefly base. And this whitefly base will be crucial for the global community to study whiteflies. So if we can control whiteflies in East Africa, small-scale family farmers will have enough cassava to not only feed their families, but sell at the market. And it's my dream and the dream of the team who's working on this to travel in East Africa very soon and have cassava be plentiful and the region food secure for many years to come. Thank you.